So now we're going to make a scrunchie bow. This is a really fun bow that you can make in Bodabra. Here's an example of a smaller scrunchie bow, and here's one that we made with cello. It's really fun and really easy. So let's show you how to do it. The first thing I'm going to do is take my Bodabra bow wire, and I'm going to fold it. Your kit comes with a little bit of Bodabra bow wire, so you can use that. I'm going to fold the wire in half and lay it down into my Bodabra. And you'll see in just a little bit why it's so important to fold your Bodabra bow wire in half. Now, what I'm going to do is take my scrunchie ribbon. And all I'm going to do is scrunch this ribbon right down into the Bodabra. And then I'm going to take my Bodabra wand and scrunch it down. Then I'm going to take another, and here we're going to use the silver scrunchie ribbon. And we're just going to scrunch that right down into the Bodabra. And you want to keep your scrunch ribbon centered so you have equals on each side. And just keep scrunching that down. And again, I'm going to use my wand. And I'm going to scrunch down with my wand. Then I'm going to take my last piece of scrunchy ribbon. Now, the amount of scrunchy ribbon that you use will determine how puffy your bow will be. So if you use a lot of ribbon, you'll have a very puffy round bow. And if you use less ribbon, then it'll be a little bit of a flatter bow. But they look, both look really beautiful. So now I'm going to scrunch down here. Then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Bodabra bow wire. And I'm going to have a slip knot on this side. I'm going to bring my wire through the slip knot. And then I'm going to pull it really tight while it's still in the Bodabra. I'm going to separate the ends bring them around to the back. And what's really nice about the bow wire is you can just tie it and then I'm going to knot it. And you can leave it flat or you can puff it up. And you have a really cool scrunchie bow.